Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Ross Benjamin, SPR contributor, and today we're going to be taking a look at that college football game between Rice and Notre Dame. Bookies right now are favoring the Irish at 21 points while the total was set at 51. Now how are you doing this morning, Ross? I'm doing very well, Dex. How about yourself? College football right around the corner. All yeah. is good. No doubt, no doubt, my man. Now before we jump into this, I think you might want to give us all a brief recap of the stellar year that the Owls had last season. Well, Rice comes off a tremendous 2013 campaign in which they went 10 and 4, and they captured the Conference USA title and went to a bowl game for the second consecutive season. As a matter of fact, Dex, this is a Rice Owls team that won their last five games of the 2012 season, and currently they come into this season having won 15 of their last 19 overall. We'll see what they're made of early on as they travel to Notre Dame on Saturday and then have to, two weeks later, go to Texas A&M and face the Aggies there in College Station. So we'll get a good indication if this team is for real. All right, now how about that Fighting Irish? They had about four players that were dismissed due to academic violations. Now I know that three of those guys were start, uh, projected starters. Now what do you think about that? How is that going to affect the team? I mean, it's a heavy blow when you consider the fact that you had your leading receiver, returning receiver in Devaris Daniels, who caught 49 balls last year, an excellent defensive lineman in Eshaq Williams that was going to be heavily dependent on, and cornerback Kavari Russell, it's a heavy blow. And the fourth player out uh, is a guy that was vying for a starting position. And we've seen some line movement as a result, Dex. This game opened up with Notre Dame as a 24-point favorite, and they are anywhere from a 21 to 21-and-a-half-point favorite currently as we speak. So it's going to keep on dropping, I would assume. Um, but anyways, uh, right now, I, I beg your pardon? Yeah, I, I just think that that was the adjustment because right. of those three players. And I think any line movement at this point will be a true indicator where money goes. Right, totally agree. Sure. Totally agree with that. Now, how about the uh, head coaches for the teams? We've got David Bailiff coming into his eighth year as the head coach of the Owls, while Kelly has managed to get the Fighting Irish to a nice 37 and 15 record in his last four seasons. Now, what do you expect from these guys in this upcoming season? Well, like you alluded to, David Bailiff, he enters his eighth season. He's coming off back-to-back -back good years with the Rice Owls. Uh, they went to bowl games in both seasons, uh, both each of the last two years, I should say. He'll be tested this year. He lost his starting quarterback via graduation in Kyler McCarty. Uh, this is a team that returned some pretty good skilled players offensively, but a lot of question marks still on the defensive side of the ball, Dex. Brian Kelly has certainly shown he could live up to the task of coaching at one of the storied programs in all of college football where you're constantly under a microscope, as you alluded to as well. 37 and 15 over the last four years, including a trip to the BCS National Championship game against Alabama in 2012. Again, the Notre Dame schedule is just brutal, Dex. And uh, he'll be tested again this year. There's really not a lot of room for error in the current playoff system. So Notre Dame will be up against it with this schedule they have this year. And if they put together a 10 and 2, 11 and 1 year, boy, oh boy, they're going to be right in the mix. Right. Now, taking into account the dismissals of the players and all this, what are we going to be looking at? A spread bet or a total bet here recommend, recommended from you? Well, I'm going to look at a total here, Dex. I mean, Rice still has enough offensive firepower, despite the fact they lost their starting quarterback, uh, returning at the skilled positions. And I, I think you can count on them to put up some points against Notre Dame. Notre Dame, on the other hand, has some uh, liabilities possibly on the defensive side of, of the ball, and they might be prone to a Rice offense that uh, is capable, as I said, to put up some points. The Irish, on the other hand, should be able to move the ball at will on a Rice defense that at best is suspect entering this season. I have a small lean toward this one going over the total of 51 decks. Now, Ross, do you think that it would be a good idea to maybe wait a couple of days before the game, or should we just jump on the line right now before it starts moving anymore? Well, I, I'm anticipating. I can't see this total going down, okay? Uh, again, that's just my prognostication. 
What I would suggest is you get down early on this total. I, I think this can go as high as 52 and a half or 53 before game time. All right, you heard the man. Ross says that we should go on it right now. And once again, Ross, thank you very much for your insights and can't wait to talk to you again tomorrow. Always a pleasure, Dax. Thank you. Likewise. And for sportsbookreview.com, this is Dax Floyd.